Ah, oh, shalom, assalamu alaikum, my friends. Hey, look, I wanted to show you guys this because, see, I have a scar right here. This is another hadith in the Islamic uh, Muslim religion. So I have this scar that runs here, right through here, runs down into here, somewhere around here. I'll show it to you more clear. It's around there somewhere. You'll see it. I'm not sure if right, right there, if maybe a line running right all the way there. But this scar, when I was little, I ran into a glass case and it sliced me up. I even have uh, some, some of the scarring on my neck. I'll show you. Let's get a better light. Maybe you can see it better in a real light. Because I, I want to prove the Hadith to you people. I want to prove it to you. You know? I have no reason to lie. I don't want to be called a liar. A fraud, a fake. Here's the scar. Okay, we we'll move. I move this out of the way. I explain that in a minute. But uh, let's see. Put in some red light. The scar is right here. I can see it myself. The scar runs right here. Okay, slice right there, and also on my neck here. I got one a scar right there. This is where the glass. The glass casing cut me all up in my neck right there into this muscle. And this, in doing so, what, what, is, what happened? Okay, I'll explain to you what happened. In doing that, what that happened to me, I was a little bitty kid. I was only like four years old, three or four years old when that took place. But uh, what happened is now I have uh, scar tissue like here and desensitization where it's, you know, I can't really feel it like I feel this side. I, I don't feel this much. So this is electricity. This here is electricity. So I show you. Uh, I put on these little pads here. These little electric pads right here. And I put them on this muscle right here. And way down into my back, lower back part. So for me, what takes place is this. There is a muscle, your supraspinatus, supraspinatus muscle and infraspinatus muscle, which is all part of this rotator cuff that rotates the arm up and back and down like this right just the rotation not the drastic thing no 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 it's the it's the rotation of that okay so for me since this messed up i have bad uh, problem with the supraspinatus ripping and tearing because it pulls one muscle pulls on the other muscle opposite direction you know like your bicep pull this way it pulls this and when you flex this it pulls on your bicep muscle so you have this so for me it's the same my chest will go like this causing problem back here this has to accommodate this and then sometimes that muscle gets torn and when that muscle gets torn there's another muscle so you can see that look at look at look at this I'll do this and only on this side all these oh you can see all the scalars look see this side doesn't have that much this here is, right here is a tendon that travels up into my hyoid bone. There's a hyoid bone here. So for me, and the hyoid bone looks like a horseshoe. It sits right up in here and it helps you swallow. So for me, when this gets torn and something happens, it goes and affects the whole muscles here. And it's hard for me to swallow. Sometimes I, I can't swallow, do these types of things. And it all affects back in here so that's why I got this here because here is my spine and the spine gets attached to these uh, infraspinatus and supraspinatus muscles and then the hyoid bone is wrapped around it as well and the hyoid bone comes down and tucks back down underneath this it all meets down in this little area right in here so for me I've always had that problem ever since I was a little kid so to fix that problem, what I do, since I don't have any real brain mechanism for these muscles, I have to use the electricity. So here I turn it on. I give it a good, I'm going to turn it all the way up to 15. Oh, this one slid down. Hang on. This one slid down a little bit. Got to make sure they're all on. And then I turn it up.
See that? It make it make my muscle move. So, a lot of people use these things and they just do it. They put it on. They sit down. They do this. That's not the way these things work, everybody. It's not what you're supposed to use these for. You're supposed to have them activated. Yes, turn them on. And the point of it to turn on is because while the electricity is shooting into your muscle, it's causing those muscles to contract like they're normally supposed to do. So in that process, I take these little weights here, and while that is working, I focus on that, all that flexation that the electricity is doing, and I raise these up like this, and I do this. See this? And what this does, I like to do it mainly on this one, just for now. I do both of them. But what this does is it makes me concentrate on that supraspinatus and infraspinatus electricity to where I want to use those exact same muscles that, are, that the electricity is moving. I want to fight it against it. Like, and, and force my arm to do what it is doing. You see what I'm saying? And force it in that manner. And I do these exercises. I just do these for a while. Maybe three sets of uh, 20, you know. Until that is wore out. Because the whole purpose is I'm trying to get that muscle to wear itself out so that it relaxes itself. Because it's not relaxing and it's causing all of this to pull in and making me hard to swallow, <laughs> you know. So I made videos about this in many other Facebooks. I made videos for people to see. But there is a hadith about something about this I have uh, heard about. I've never saw it myself, never got to see it. But uh, I heard about it. Somebody had told me about something like this. I said, huh, that's, that's a, I have that too as well, that, that issue. So it's like everything, everything in Hadith that they kind of say isn't all, like it's not all worded right, but there is a meaning that's truth to it is what I mean. So that surprised me that they even knew about my hyoid bone, my my neck thing it makes me wonder like like what was that uh, I never told you I tell you the story there was a guy that come into my room I sleeping it's at three o'clock in the morning woke me up I couldn't move my body I could only move my eyes and I seen this guy stand next to me in my bed he's standing over me he had a big long sword that come here pointed down and he's stood in like this with his hands rested on it and he looked over, he looked down at me. I'm laying down in bed, right? I can't move my body. I'm scared. And I, I want to punch the guy, you know, whoever is in my house. And I can't move. And I, I can move my eyes. And I turn, I look at him with my eyes, right? I go like this. I look at him. And then he goes like this. He stands like this. He goes, and he turns his head and looks down, right down at me. Ever since that day, I always wondered, who's, who is this guy? Eh... Uh, was this Mohammed? He watching me sleep. That's how he knows about all the marks on my body and all the things. Did he see me, or did uh, you know? Because you can't see me until I was born. Nobody would have known what my flesh was going to look like, but but God only. But for some reason, God knew my flesh. How the, does God go around telling people about the vessels He makes? I don't know. It's just odd to me. Anyway, I just wanted to show you. Yes, yeah, sometimes I have to do this, man. Otherwise, uh, it becomes super stiff and it hurts and oh, I can't do anything. But so I do this and it loosens it up. It gets it blood moving in there. And then and then what happens is that hyoid bone also, the supraspinatus and all that, it's all connected to this uh, bone right here. Okay, my clavicle. So the clavicle is even pull it, pulled in it. It just feels like a burden of something just on me. You know what I mean? Hanging on me. Uh, and uh, very irritating. But I find that this helps it. And eventually what happens this, and I keep doing this, it works those muscles. Eventually it, it heals. That torn muscle heals. And then everything relaxes. And then that loose, that hyoid bones pop back up and loosen that. And then this thing right here will loosen it pop out i don't know how it pops out but it, it does something happens i can feel it and hear it and i'm like oh and then the minute that happens 
then all these muscles in my back that run even all the way down, they run all the way down into my, my butt, down to my leg, the tightness of it. A minute that all loosens and pops out and loosens all up, all of these muscles loosen all up where I can stretch and do these things and touch my toes and all that. But for now, I have to stay with this. Shalom. Assalamu alaikum.